No worries. Um, so you had mentioned your relationship with Hania Rainey, and it seems like she has played a role in in your growth as an artist over the years, just through your friendship with her and collaborations. How did that relationship sort of like evolve to that point where you guys are almost, I guess, meant for each other in a way, creatively and <laughs> relationally, I guess, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm smiling because I think the same. <laughs> Yeah, we met um, when she was 14 years old and I was 13 and it was pretty tough moment in my life because I was, I just uh, finished this first step, well, how to say that in English, like uh, first part of my musical education and then you have to go to another school, which is like the high school, gymnasium and high school. So I was 13 year, years old and in my home, hometown, there was no such school. So I had to go to bigger city, which is Gdańsk. And I started living in dormitory, you know, and I, I have the impression that I was a child back then, 13 year, years old. Uh, so first year was uh, not easy, but I met Hania and not only her, I also met Cornelia Gronska. Um, and we, for example, we played inner symphonies also with her. She was our uh, part of our ensemble, and we are still best friends, the three of us. We started playing in piano trio first, so strictly classical music. But I think um, that was my first experience in life when I felt connection without words. Um, something very strong and incredible something that you don't have to explain your vision that much because this other human being would understand it and bring it back to you so it was like that with Hania and Cornelia mm. and then um, we actually the three of us moved to Warsaw in order to study because then after high school you have to study in Poland we have this sort of mu musical education system like this first uh, musical school then gymnasium and high school and then studies and we wanted to continue playing in piano trio so the three of us moved to Warsaw and we continued it and it was great then we also uh, started doing uh, doing this other stuff like Biała Flaga with Hania. And I think uh, then the, the whole journey with different approach started because Hania um, instantly, I think she, she found herself into uh, arranging stuff and um, you could definitely see from the start that she is also meant to do this sort of things mm. and with this project we were so you know we we're so hmm. naive is maybe not a good word but in a way we were naive because we didn't treat this project like a source of money or whatever like that we would be just so happy about playing together stuff which is a little bit more uh, personal than um, classical music. No, I, I also believe that we were meant to, to, to meet each other and start doing music, making music together. Um, and also, I think because of a project with Hania, um, first Bia Flaga and then Inner Symphonies, I finally, eventually found the courage to do my own stuff mm. because I, um, thanks to especially inner symphonies, because you know, that was professional. That was something huge in our lives, both um, at Hania's, in Hania's life and in mine, because we signed a contract with incredible label, which is Deutsche Grammophon. Wow. Uh, so thanks to that, I really learned everything about so-called business you know mm. I don't like this word but how it all works like how do you create an album how do you approach 
recording, how do you approach uh, production, how do you create uh, artwork, um, how do you find people, what is important, um, how do you promote it, so all of that stuff. And thanks to this, I uh, didn't uh, find it so scary in the end, you know, when I, I decided doing my own stuff. So I was prepared and I approached it much more relaxed and knowing what's happening. <laughs> yeah, that's always a scary part for somebody who comes from the pure artist side who just loves to be in the artist space. There is this reality called the music business that sometimes is um, can be quite shrewd. So it's good to yeah learn those those things to... Uh, prepare yourself for that yes and exactly what i said on the beginning of our conversation it's important to remember why actually you do it what you do and um because it, it can be very um tough when you are a sensitive person and you put your whole heart into something and then from one hand some people are amazed about you and tell you how amazing you are and some people think that you are actually nothing and you shouldn't show up so it can be very confusing and hard but when you remember why why you do it actually and what is your goal and <clears throat> that you do something uh, with pure intention then you can feel much more protected and like confident just with yourself. So yeah, this business can be uh, can be tough. Um, but I at least I want to believe that um, it's also necessary in order to communicate with other people because other people have to somehow get to know about you about your art. Mm -hmm. And this is um, that's why promotion exists we yeah. need it 